All right, guys, what's up? It's Andrew with Long Range Gear. Um, bringing you a video today to talk about a really cool new product that's coming out. Or should I say it's a package from Torque King 4x4 over in Billings, Montana. Um, these guys are great. They're the go-to people for um, quality gearbox parts. Um, if you need uh, anything for like a transmission, axle, transfer case, they're the guys to go to. And um, I've been kind of talking with them. We've obviously made videos in the past together, and they've assembled a fully comprehensive, inclusive, complete rebuild kit for the NV5600. There's nothing like this from anybody else in the world. Um, it's going to alleviate a lot of headaches because sometimes guys order rebuild kits and don't realize that some of the stuff's not included. So we're going to kind of go over what's included in this one and why it's such an awesome offering. <clears throat> so we're going to start with the bearing kit. So typically when you order a rebuild kit from any of the aftermarket suppliers, you're going to get a bearing kit but it's going to include coils and coils are great bearings, but Timkins are even better. These are the, these are the best bearings that you could possibly get. They're a little bit more money, but it's worth it. There is one coil that's included because Timkin doesn't offer it, but all the meat and potatoes here for your main shafts uh, or for your main and counter shafts. Um, these are Timkins. Um, super, super excited that they're including those. So you get the full package of bearings here. Um, you're also going to get, it's kind of hard to see, um, a full set of, uh, key springs and balls, uh, the detents for the hubs. Um, you have to replace this on every um, on, on every rebuild that you do, and so they include the full set. So that's pretty awesome. <clears throat> the synchronizers that are being included in their kit are Synchrotech brand. They are a carbon fiber, uh, like a woven woven carbon fiber um, material similar to like an MV4500. These pair really really well with Redline MTL fluid. It's like the perfect sort of friction um, for a good quality shift. And if you pair it with a Valair clutch that doesn't have the constant dragging on the input shaft like other brands, um, you're gonna get like the best shifting 5600 you could possibly have. Um, I really like these synchronizers. I do believe, speaking with Jesse, um, I do believe that brass will be an option. Brass are great, super long lasting, and you can pair those with Pennzoil Synchro Mesh and, and equivalently, or pretty close to equivalently good shift out of those. Um, and they'll, they'll last a very long time. They're a really good quality uh, friction material. Um, I think he's gonna have that as a drop down option, but we're not quite sure yet. Uh, we'll have to see kind of when it goes live as to how that rolls out. <clears throat> so included in this kit is a set of needle bearings. A needle, a needle bearing set is not included in most rebuild kits. So this needle bearing kit is very complete. It even includes the two um, reverse idler needle bearings, which in some kits are, are not included. Um, so it's really awesome they're throwing this in. Um, you'd normally have to order this separate. Um, also, a full set of races. This is pretty cool because if you tear your transmission down and see that your races are damaged or ill-fitting or something like that, um, you know, your transmission will be down for another week and a half or whatever waiting for a new race to come in. So they're including all three just to make sure that you're good to go. Um, as well as um, this is a two-wheel drive bushing. Um, if you have a four-wheel drive, you won't need this, but if you have a two-wheel drive, you do have to swap this out. Um, some of the other ones are uh, from other manufacturers and suppliers are pretty inferior, and they don't fit correctly, and it causes problems with your yoke um, when you go to install it. So this is really awesome. you got one, two, three, four, and reverse. Very cool. If you have them, swap them out. You're going to be very happy with it. Um, also, obviously, comes with a full seal kit, a two-wheel drive rear, four-wheel drive rear, and the input uh, for inch and three eighths, um, and a main shaft, uh, main shaft nut, excuse me, is included here. That's that's really cool. Those are not included in most rebuild kits as well. Um, you do have to replace these on every rebuild. Um, a lot of guys don't realize they don't come with that, and they try to reuse their old one. Turns into a big mess. Sometimes guys have to chisel these off, and I would really hate to try to see you try to reuse that, but we see it all the time as it comes in here. Um, so also, a full set of washers. This one's not packaged. Um, just because. Uh, so it's including a third gear brass, uh, third gear thrust washer with the oiling grooves. The, um, the reverse idler washers are also included. These have to be replaced. Um, I'm really happy to see that they included those. Uh, a first gear thrust washer. Um, these commonly get um, lots of wear in them when you start to run low on oil or you know something like that. Um, they get grooved out. You do have to replace them. Uh, I'm glad to see that they included them as well as a uh, reverse thrust washer. Um, these can kind of get messed up again if you start to run low on oil or if the transmission has ever been ran low on oil. Um, so that will be included. 
another big, really, really important um, component to a rebuild kit um, that's not included in most um, is a shim kit. So this is a main shaft shim kit, a counter shaft shim kit, and a reverse counter shaft shim kit. So you have to set all your clearances and it's like absolutely critical to getting a quality rebuild. If you don't shim and check your end plate and clearances, your transmission will not last very long. Like it's, I can't, I can't overstate how critical it is. And most guys bypass it because they don't realize that these don't come in another kit. Um, and then they don't want to, you know, have the truck down for, you know, a week and a half to order a new, a new set. So this is coming with the kit. So you'll have everything you need to set your clearances, right? Um, the video that we did with Torquing will show you how to do that as well. So you, you're really set up for success here. Uh, first gear snap ring kit, which is cool because these are um, select fit. <clears throat> you do have to pick the right snap ring for your clearance. Not pictured is a counter shaft snap ring kit that will be included with this part number for this package. It's not pictured here at this moment, but it will come with it. Um, I'm really happy that they included this. This is a new six gear. I put a new overdrive gear in every manual transmission that I build. Metal fatigue is a real thing. Uh, this is the most commonly broken gear in these transmissions because this little guy is what drives your, your truck. It harnesses all your horsepower. This spins at your 27% uh, faster than your overdrive or um, than your, than your engine does. Um, when you're in overdrive, it's, this is doing all the work. These break because they get tired and including a new quality six gear um, is a very, very smart thing to do. Um, this will, um, this will minimize your fatiguing and braking issues. Um, I'm glad they included that. Um, also included is a reverse gear. Um, this is this will be packaged just similar to these ones. Uh, reverse gears are always chewed up in every NV5600 that I brought in. These little engagement teeth that are sharp in this on this new gear, um, these get like wiped and blunted, and um, it it makes it difficult to find reverse. Most Dodge guys know know what I'm talking about. Um, so a new reverse gear will help minimize that. All right, sorry guys, our air compressor kicked on. Um, also included in this kit is a uh, reverse light switch. Uh, this is pretty cool to include because you know it's right next to the exhaust, it gets brittle, they break easy. So it's cool that they included that. Um, it's also gonna come with a new pivot ball and pivot ball clip for the clutch fork. So these are great because I, I replace them in every single one that I build. Um, these get worn down really good. Um, and for every little bit that it wears down and your clutch, forks move, clutch fork moves on this side, it has to throw farther to compensate. So it's really good to swap these out, especially while you've got it all apart. It'll come with some lubricants for the clutch fork and throw out and stuff like that. So that's pretty neat. This is a big one. Um, this, this stuff's a little bit expensive. Sometimes it's hard to find. This is anaerobic sealant. This is the correct cross-referenced sealant from the factory service manual. This stuff will compress really tightly. Um, and when it cures, it hardens, so it won't like flex and move like an RTV will. RTV will not compress far enough um, to accurately set clearances, and as well, um, it just doesn't seal long-term like this stuff does. So this is really great. I'm glad to see that they included that. You need to use this between your bell housing and case, and then your case and your tail housing. It also includes this green uh, Loctite, I believe it's 620, it's a sleep retainer. This is in case, um, you know, your main shaft or anything has got some wear um, and these bear, uh, the bearing races don't fit super tightly. Um, you can use some sleeve retainer to hold them in place and they won't spin. That's really good. It's pretty common to use. Um, you also use it on the um, bearing cup that goes inside the back of the main shaft or the input shaft, excuse me. Um, this stuff will help hold that in place. It's critical to maintaining good, uh, good end play. <clears throat> you get a little bit of uh, RTV for your shift tower. Um, and some blue thread locker um, for all your hardware. So that's really cool. They really like took all the guesswork and all the little trips to the auto parts store. They took they took all that out just uh, by making a really complete kit for you. Another thing I really like to see, um, a new shift tower spacer. I include one of these with every one of my rebuilds because this definitely helps the stability of your shift tower. It really helps the feeling in your shifter when you're, when you're moving it. Um, you know, the oil soaks this rubber, it makes it real soft and you know, just turns kind of junky. So a new one is really great and it'll be nice and firm. Uh, they also include some bolts and the spacers for your shift tower. Um, Cause let's be honest, we, we lose those, right? You know, the regular Joe building the stuff in a shop isn't gonna have like a big supply like we do. Um, so if you lose one of these, you don't gotta like, you know, try to make something else work. Um, uh, and again, there's a little bit more RTV for that. 
um, and for um, uh, this can also be used for your PTO covers. Um, another thing included in the kit that's very important, um, this is not what your package is going to look like, but these are um, shift rail bushings. At a bare minimum, you need to put the six new ones in your main case. You can drive them out with some sort of a tool. Excuse me. Drive them out with some sort of a tool, like a, you know, a, a driver of some kind, um, and you can drive in new ones. Um, this will really, really, really help your transmission feel new again. Um, you know, with a couple hundred thousand miles, there's a lot of slop in the shift rails. Um, with new shift rail bushings, even just in the case, it's a huge jump in, in refreshing it. They're kind of hard to pull out of the bell housing. We haven't really found a good affordable tool to pull them out without causing damage and like trying to chisel them out. Um, sometimes you can gouge the, the bell housing and that'll cause like a bulge, um, which will uh, create some interference between the shift rails. So um, at a bare minimum, do the six in your main case. If you can find a way effectively to pull them out of the bell housing, doing all your shift rail bushings is the best way. Um, but those are included in the kit for you to do so. Um, <clears throat> I think that's pretty much, the thing that's pretty much it. The only thing I did want to touch on is that um, Jesse's advised me there's going to be several drop down options with this kit. So if you need um, commonly replaced items like uh, an input shaft or a main shaft or sliders are a really big thing. Um, usually with every rebuild, um, we'll put at least one slider in, at least one or two um, outer synchronizer rings. Um, those are all going to be drop down menus. So if you tear down your transmission first before placing this order, you'll know exactly what you need to swap out. Um, I highly encourage guys to get at least one slider, at least a couple block rings. You're probably going to need an input shaft. Um, maybe not, but it's, it's very likely. So some other hard parts are going to be, um, you, you will have the option to add them on. Other than that, I think that's pretty much, I think that's pretty much all you're going to need. This is the one stop, this is the only place where you can get a one stop shop, one part number, one swipe of the card. Um, and this is all really good stuff. This is all the things that I use in my professional rebuilds that are still out there kicking, towing, working heavy year after year. Um, so I highly encourage you to check out Torquing 4x4. You can just look them up on Google, um, type in Torquing 4x4. Um, they're out in Billings, Montana. They're a really great company, really, really, really awesome people that work there. Um, I really like them. We've done a couple of videos with Torquing 4x4 doing build videos or swap videos. Um, we're going to continue to do so. Um, check us out, Long Range Gear, www.lrgdiesel.com, Long Range Gear on Instagram. Um, and both companies are also on Facebook as well. Um, so get in touch with Torquing 4x4 to snag one of these as soon as they come out, and you will have the best MV5600 kit that you can find. Thanks, guys.